Hello. It is your friendly neighborhood coach, Dr. Wu, and I am listening. This is part two to the Valentine's discussion. And again, the theme is how to be the lover, the best Valentine to ourselves, to our own mind, body, and spirit, right? So earlier in part one, I talked about the female energy. The female energy needs to feel seen, understood, and safe, right? And then now I want to address the male energy. So the male energy wants to feel accepted with all the flaws and quirks. And then two, to be received very openly and acceptingly and not blocked. And the third is just to be trusted that you are able and that you are free and not controlled. All right. So the, uh, the, the parts that would go against these three, um, needs is that if someone is criticized a lot and uh, nagged, then you don't feel that accepted, right? Or somebody's trying to change you, then you don't feel accepted. It's like, why can't you just love me the way I am? Why can't you accept me the way I am, right? Number two is um, if certain people are closed off to us, you know, and not open to us, well, that kind of feels very kind of rejected, right? Rejecting. And then the third one is also when, um, if you, if someone feels very controlled or micromanaged or manipulated, well, that really, um, feels like, oh, you don't trust me or you don't feel like I'm able, like I'm not good enough. And also that we don't have that freedom. So those are the negating things to those three uh, needs. Um, so again, remember the male energy wants to be accepted just the way they are. And two is just to be open, you know, open and receptive and, and received. And three is to be trusted that they are well able and they're free to make the best decisions. You know, they could be a little wrong or not, but they can still free to, 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 to do what they, um, are you're trusting them to do all right so let's see i'm gonna do a little exercise so let's say this is the female and then the male right so then the female wants to be seen heard and feel safe right and so um so let's say the female comes home and says oh i've had a horrible day at work this person you know did this and that and this and that right so the male energy would then just say Oh, I see you're really frustrated and you're maybe a little bit, you know, struggling with a lot of emotions, you know, from what happened at work and then understand her. It's just like, yeah, that, that's understandable to feel a little bit like that. And remember, don't, don't go fix it. And then the third one is just make it safe. So you make it safe by basically being, um, um, a, a good sounding board, just a safe place to be, to be present. But again, not, not raising your voice or, or starting an argument or trying to, to fix her <laughs> or, or even to say, gee, um, why don't you leave that job or why don't you this, 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 and then that's, that, that won't help those three, right? So now let's go to the male energy. Let's say the male energy, um, remember those three things that are needed, but then let's say the female, instead of accepting the person as they are, actually starts nagging them and criticizing them and trying to change them. <sighs> that kind of goes counter to what they need, right? And the second one is, let's say, um, not openly received, kind of rejected, like no, 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 kind of turned down, you know, because of miscommunications, you know? And then the third one is, you know, just a lot of control, you know, wanting to control things. And then, no, 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 I don't want to do that, you know? And then that, then that person, you know, the male energy then feels kind of controlled and manipulated, not trusted, as if they're not able, you know, and they're not free. So that's how the... That's how the male and female energies can really get into some miscommunications, right? And really, miscommunications is the loss of connection. And connection is what is, is the basis of relationships. So there's always love. Love is there. But it's because we don't know how to communicate. And, and it's true. I don't know. I don't think I've only learned this recently. So it's taken me a bunch of years, right? Decades to learn all this and more, right? I'm always learning. Um, so just, uh, yeah, just, it's, it's always, the love is there, but it's the, um, it's the miscommunication that breaks the connection. And then that's the, that's when the relationships don't work. Okay. So be blessed everyone. Remember you are the lover. If you can love yourself. So as the female, you make sure you see yourself, you make sure you understand yourself and you make sure you feel safe, mind, body, and spirit. Okay. And then you find all these things in yourself and in the Lord. And then if you're the male energy, you know, accept yourself just the way you are. Okay. You are enough. Just tell yourself you are enough. Okay. And number two, be open even to your own feelings and thoughts. Right. And then three, you are free. You are well able. You're trust, you know, you're trustworthy. 
and you tell that to yourself. So you meet your your love needs yourself and with the Lord, then you actually are more able to then actually interact with the other, right? With the other um, person, right? And to love others. So I hope it, it's helpful. Um, and uh, I just love sharing whatever I, I learn with everyone. All right, be blessed. Remember, you are loved, you are accepted, you belong. And, uh, and just have an amazing Valentine's. Be your be your own best Valentine, so then you can be uh, uh, loving to others. In the great physician's name, Yahweh, Rafe, mm, the Lord that provides all that we need for life and for godliness, Jehovah Jireh. The banner over me is loved, right? Loved for sure. We are loved, right? Our Savior and our Lord, He is the lover of our soul. So you are greatly loved. Even if you're alone, you are never really lonely because the Lord promises to always be with you and never leave you. Even in the middle of the desert storm out in the desert 30 years ago, I knew that I was never alone. He would spend, send a little sparrow out of nowhere. And I just felt that the Lord was reminding me that, that he sees me in the desert and he sees you and he loves you. You are loved. You are safe. You belong. You're well able. You are trustworthy. You are accepted just as you are. Ah, shalom. Peace, everyone. Shalom. You are loved. You are loved. You are loved.